Hi guys! So I recently cleaned out my closet for the first time in ages. Why do I still have this? No. Birthday present from Megan L. I'm not sure if this is a joke. And I had a bunch of t-shirts that I don't really wear anymore, but I wasn't ready to get rid of. So I thought it was the perfect time to try repurposing a couple of them into these cute carry-alls. Today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable bags with just a t-shirt and a pair of scissors. All you'll need to get started is an old t-shirt, fabric scissors, and embellishments are optional. First, we're going to cut the sleeves off of our shirt. I'm using this old striped t-shirt that never fit me very well, and I think I'll get more use out of it as a bag. Fold your shirt in half and make sure it's all lined up, and then cut along the inside of the seam. This ensures that our sides are symmetrical, but if you don't have fabric scissors, you can cut the sleeves off individually. And you're left with the tank top. Next, we're gonna cut out the neck. You'll wanna cut a deep U to create the handles. You can see your bag taking shape. Now we're gonna turn our shirt inside out, Make sure the bottom edges are even and smooth, and begin cutting strips about three to four inches in length. I'm making my slits about a half an inch wide. Using a striped shirt makes this part really easy because we can just cut to the same line. Our fringe is complete, and now we're gonna tie the strips together to create the bottom of the bag. As you can see, there's little gaps between each knot, so we're gonna go through and close those up by tying the top strip to the bottom of the adjacent strip. Make sure these knots are nice and tight. Once your second row is complete, tie a quick double knot on your ends just to reinforce them. And now for the fun part, let's turn our bag inside out. Ta-da! We have a super cute tote bag that is ready for the store, the gym, the beach, just about anywhere. I think the stripes are such a classic chic look, but you can also add pom-poms for a pop of color and a trendier look. All right, guys, I hope you'll give this a try. As always, tell me in the comments below what other DIYs you'd like to see, and we'll see you next Friday. Bye, Bye guys! guys.